Hi everyone, it's Susan Winter. Welcome to my channel. And for those of you who are subscribers, welcome back. I'm really grateful to have you and I love your fabulous questions. Today I have one from Andrew and this is good. Oh, this is good. I think many of you have no idea how many letters I get from people on the complete other camp meaning people that have been taught to play games, people who have been taught to manipulate because they took a course or a class to try to empower themselves, like the shy guy that really wants a date. And this is not a one-off. I get a number of these, people who want to correct their behavior and move toward a real, loving, committed, honest, and may I say, authentic relationship. So, Andrew, I'm going to read yours, and man, do I like this. This is really great, everyone. So, Andrew wants to give up game and move to real. <laughs> I know a little bit about this, okay? Andrew writes, I'm trying to get over game. I studied game from coaches and learned to be more aloof, mysterious, and create sexual tension. I feel bitter because it works. It seems many women require games. For me to play it just right and create the magical emotional experience, and if I give them the real me too quickly without the games, we'll end up just as friends. I want a heart-centered, real approach. Okay, this is packed. I'm gonna take it apart one piece at a time. First off, I wanna commend you for writing me. Oftentimes during my live show, I'll have guys come on, and women too, and admit something that they're, you know, they're not so proud of. Like, yeah, I've got all these people I'm dating and I kind of don't know what to do with them. And they, I don't let my audience slam them. I get very protective. It takes a lot of self-awareness to be able to call yourself out and course correct. I have a great sensitivity and empathy for people who are shy, for people who have not had a history of knowing how to be suave and get their way, or maybe who don't know how to flirt, introverts who now want to date and meet somebody and create something new. So oftentimes these techniques, they work. And a lot of why the pickup artists and guys like that work is because it's based on what's real. Remember, game is what real would look like from an empowered person who's confident. So let's take distancing. An empowered person who's confident is focused more on their own life, right? And so they'd like to be with you and they'll make a few attempts to show you, but they're not going to chase you. Not because you're not worth it, but they're chasing their life. So this is why even the conversational skills that are taught in some of the pickup artists, they teach, uh, whether it's men or women, there are schools for women too, to be conversational, to at least have a skill set to start a banter. In some cases, in some of the other communities, um, it's to, to neg a woman and do things like that to provoke her simply to kind of stir up and unwind a woman that thinks she's all that, kind of knock her off the pedestal so that she'll get real with you. But the bottom line from all these techniques, while to some degree the methodology works, and I agree with you, it can work, it brings about only a very specific outcome. If you do game and you're a guy, You'll probably get good at the skills of approach, which you need anyway, so that's great. You can keep that. You don't have to throw the baby out with the bathwater. But if you want an authentic relationship and you want to be yourself at some point, you have to get past the distancing, the, the, the putting down, the minimalizing a woman and, and treating her as though she's just a sexual object, which many of these teach you to do because with that kind of game, you will get sex. So this initially sounds great to people like, oh, wow, I'll get a partner. But what happens is you've got some very good people who've been led astray and they want a partner. It's that they didn't know the approach. They maybe didn't know the clothes. They didn't know where to go and they didn't know what to say. And then they use these techniques. And what happens is the bait that you use catches a certain kind of fish. Now, for, for the fellows out there, um, you know, 
if a woman is only interested in you because you're aloof, she's probably not a woman that is ready for a relationship. She wants to ride the wild horse. She's just, you know, doing her dating options. And you're intriguing simply for her ego because she can't have you. And this is true, that no matter how you're playing this game. Uh, so what we want to do is create real and authentic. So my advice to you, don't throw all the skills out. Keep the charm. Keep the parts where you learn to approach. As far as distancing and charisma, well, let me see. I'm going to address each one of these things that you said here, okay? Mysterious. It's okay if you don't want to reveal all. If you were course correcting and you always overshared and you chased a woman and you made it too easy for her and you kept making excuses for her, the worst thing people can do is start to throw gifts at their person who's not paying attention to them. It's like, I don't go and reward my doggy when she doesn't do something right. Right? I reward her when she does something right. So I've noticed sometimes men in front of a beautiful woman will like throw all these opportunities and take her here and take her there. And she's clearly not interested. So an authentic heart-centered relationship requires you to show up authentically. So it takes time to figure out what elements of your training are worth keeping. Conversational skills, yes. Some of the chivalry, yes. Maybe to moderate how much you share and certainly to pursue and show interest, but have a sense of decorum so that you're not just like a little lapdog because that's what we're trying to avoid. There's the eagerness of the person who is overly invested. And so perhaps the best thing to do at this point uh, is to think, Andrew, that you, you want to find a woman where being your confident and direct self, you feel okay. Because the downside of playing game is that you can never, ever, ever get close. You can never, ever, ever let down your guard because I've had guys that have come to me from other schools and from other training and like been embedded in it. And yes, they got the girl. Then they made the mistake of being themselves. They made the mistake of pillow talk or opening up or wanting to show their affection. Now they're blockaded because that girl doesn't understand what that is. And then she lost interest. So what? You're going to always go to the edge of your emotions and never let go? So the antidote, well, for all of us, really, is to measure how we feel in their presence. Do we feel safe? Do we feel comfortable? Can we be direct? Can we, do we feel powerful? Do we feel that we shine? Or are we always editing ourselves? You know, don't chase those people. What a lot of work to unwind that from the very beginning. Why not start with somebody that you feel comfortable with and they are real? You can't have a real relationship unless somebody knows what real is for themselves. And believe it or not, there are a lot of smiling, happy, positive looking people that have no idea who they are. And all that's a facade, right? It's like the Instagram body images, you know? So you want somebody you can talk to and you want to measure and pace yourself in accordance with her or his level of interest. If we are unclear and we come to that very uncomfortable moment where there's been a kind of a pullback or we're not sure, the best thing to do is take a pause, look at everything you've seen. Did I ignore red flags? Do I need to see something? Make your own assessment. Get very clear on what it is that you need to talk about and then articulate it in two sentences in a simple text if you can. Hey, you know, um, like to see you. I know you've not been available, whatever, you know, what's going on or whatever you need to say, but think and don't chase. You give them an opportunity. If they decline, if they start to have irregular correspondence, we all know what to do. We give them one shot then we step back. Okay. Cause you don't want to be in a cycle of hot and cold. And I do know it's tempting. I know a lot of guys from pickup artists. I've actually unwittingly given 
this one of the original guys tons of psychological mm. information about women and if you know my videos you've heard this before yeah. thought I was on a wonderful dinner time with a guy date-ish not kind of not date date not date more of a colleague type thing and I was unloading how to take apart a woman you know obviously he had more material than me however it is challenging enough to be real so the inner work that you do on yourself if you start to throw it out there to people and they're not responding you know maybe it's the people you're throwing it out to also another good thing to do is to shake up the composition of the types of people you're dating if you keep hitting a wall and keep having a specific non-response or no luck with a certain type of person that you're wildly attracted to, throw something into the mix completely off script that you, somebody you wouldn't date before, somebody in a profession, a look, a body frame, a type that you would never consider just to shake it up and reboot your system. So I want to thank you for this because we really... Uh, this this channel I'd like to truly support those individuals that have a successful technique and want to leave it for something better that is far more authentic and real and heart-centered and again Andrew just so you know um, you need a heart-centered person you've got to be able to feel that when you talk to them okay so thank you so much and um, everyone Susan Winter from SusanWinter.net if you want a personal consultation check out the different packages you can find breakup triage cure to heartache and allowing magnificence on Amazon sign up for my newsletter and please subscribe and if you like what you see please refer me to your friends thanks a lot bye bye now